What is up, YouTube and S2000 enthusiasts? Episode 3 here, all about handling. We talked about stopping, we talked about safety before, now we're on to handling, so let's adjust this KW suspension. Alright guys, uh, here's the deal. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lower my front suspension down uh, five uh, turns on, on each side, and then I'm going to make sure that each adjustment is set to uh, seven and seven. And um, one of the things that I've noticed with the KWs is uh, these top bolts, there's uh, two that come with uh, each suspension piece. And maybe it's because I don't use Loctite on them, uh, but they tend to come undone. So uh, I'm going to just double check all of these, uh, all of these nuts here on top of the coilovers here and also in the trunk. The trunk one's a little bit harder to access, especially by the uh, gas inlet. So I'm going to uh, lower the front suspension, check the bolts on it. All right, so normally, if you do not have an impact wrench before you lift the car off the ground, uh, you would want to uh, take out uh, or loosen up the lug nuts here with a breaker bar. Um, fortunately though, I have a nice heavy duty impact wrench and uh, I'm just going to buzz these uh, Buzz these lug nuts right off. We will bring down uh, that coil over um, about five threads total. You can see actually the lighter and darker wear mark. So like here, has it, it's always been exposed, and here's where it's been newly exposed. So you can see that uh, there's about five threads right there. So I need to lower uh, the ring down to, to that position. KW gives you this nice kit. you're going to do is you're going to loosen up this nut. I'll do it all the way. This ratchet takes a while. I'm assuming I go this way. Oh, I don't know. Maybe this way. I think that, that goes up. So we're going to go Almost one turn around. <laughs> Making some progress here. All right, so two times around. Three more to go. Now, I thought about cleaning the threads off, but it seemed like it was pretty good, but maybe it was pretty dirty actually after all, and it probably would have helped, but. All right, so there's three. Now this was corner balanced at Innovative Garage in Salt Lake City a number of years ago by Jason Smith and um, car was amazing around the track uh, when that was the case and then I got the new wheels and brought them up higher but definitely recommend the corner balancing will be about it now you see five threads and you think that that's going to lower the car the five thread um, distance but because of how this is um, oriented um, it's not going to uh, necessarily do that all right I think we're good. Going to tighten this up here. Compression is the adjustment at the bottom of the KW shock. Adjust compression to suit bumps in critical areas such as corners, corner exit, and braking zones. I am going to shoot for about a middle zone of seven. Next up, we're going to adjust the rebound on the top of the shock. Uh, you adjust the rebound uh, to tighten up the car stabilizes the platform and eliminates body roll basically. I'm going to also set this to a seven. Now the one thing I noticed is there's a little bit of oil that's coming out of the top here. Um, could be an issue with uh, the coilover. Uh, KW does have a nice uh, return policy slash like 
uh, resurfacing policy. I believe it's a hundred dollars so per coil over. At some point, I will send these guys in um, to uh, be redone on the front. Uh, a little disappointing that they didn't last uh, a super long time with only seven track days in a couple of years. Repeat the same step on the front left as you did on the front right. Turn all the way to the right and then turn left seven times. One here, loosen this guy up. I don't know why I call them bolts guys, but I do. See, that's what happens when you get too big of tires. Because race car? Got the technique down. Load it up and put my hand completely around it. Okay, maybe this one was just four, I think. It would make sense for corner balancing that this would be a, a titch higher um, because uh, that's the side that I would be on as far as with the driver. Like the last coilover, I also adjusted the compression to seven. So same thing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. With one coilover adjustment to go. Nothing go wrong, right? Nothing. Unless you are super clumsy, and as you're about to get it, you ah, oh, you drop the adjuster into a crevice that you cannot get to. This is what happens when you have too big of hands. So to take out the gas, it's an eight millimeter. It probably would help if I just grabbed a, a socket set. So let's just do that. Now that I got my socket set, it would really help it if I set it to tighten. As I said, I am a DIY mechanic. I am no professional at all. Super simple. Three eight millimeter nuts, but it's something I really wish I didn't have to do after a long day of working on the car. Second pro tip of the day is just to pull really hard from the inside and you will eventually pull out this uh, filler area for the gas tank. Um, I struggled and struggled and uh, eventually got it though. After struggling for about 20 minutes trying to get this thing out and losing another tool in the process, I finally relied on my 30 five week pregnant wife to come over and basically sit in the trunk and use her small fingers to get in there and get out the tool that I lost, the uh, adjuster for the coilovers, as well as what I thought was a socket. And here it is. So after quite a bit of work um, of digging around by the back left uh, strut, um, I dropped the uh, adjuster for KW suspension and I lost another tool. And then my wife came out to help me out bleed the brake lines. And then I was like, hey, I think I've got a socket back there. And we found this. Does anyone have any idea what this little tube might be for? It's about an inch and a half um, in length and about three quarters of an inch, I'd say, um, in uh, diameter on the outside. And there's a slit in this um, as well. As you can see, this KW suspension is a three-way adjustable suspension from rebound to compression to ride height. And I am excited to give it a go at Thunder Hill. Handling isn't all about suspension, but also about tires. I am going to go with the RE71R tires, 225 front and 255 rear because it might rain. I do not want to use my NTO ones. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, give the video a like. And again, remember, you do not have to be the best mechanic to start working on your cars. Even I can go out there and give it a shot. As you can see, I make a lot of mistakes. And that's why I show you my mistakes, because it is natural. It is okay. Um, every video doesn't have to be perfect. I have to show you the exact way to do everything, because we are human. Again, thanks for subscribing. See you at Thunderhill.